back and today is day eight of the greater than one challenge now today's topic is exercise okay and as you guys probably know if you've looked into our channel at all you know that all five of us do taekwondo together so that's where we get quite a bit of our exercise now in addition to just the martial arts aspect of our lives we have bikes we like to go on bike rides we hike when we have the chance we enjoy camping and swimming and lots and lots of things that we like to go do. We like to hit museums when we have the chance and the kids aren't acting up. And if we get the opportunity, uh, there's been a few times our martial arts class actually, we do a skate party every November. It's coming up pretty quickly. And sometimes me and Aaron are brave and don some skates and bust our butt a time or two out there. Uh, other than that, we will also discuss just briefly um, Everything I do, like we said in the other video of the free foods, makes my blood sugar fluctuate. Usually when I'm doing a Taekwondo class or a kickboxing class, something of like high intensity workout where you get the cardio going, my blood sugar skyrockets. I'm talking, I'll go in and exercise at like 109 or so and come out of there with over 270 for no reason. And then if I go ahead and correct that and take some insulin, because I had at the beginning before I knew better, then I plummet. Because if I don't take insulin, my sugar will just drop to about 70 right after I'm done. Like about an hour and a half after I'm done with class, it'll drop. So I got like a window of time that I can hurry up and get home and get dinner going before I have to eat that dinner because I will just bottom out. Um, some activities that I do don't make it go up as high it actually makes me go down so like if we're taking a walk around the neighborhood with the dogs or a leisure bike ride then my blood sugar either stays steady or goes down if i do anything that is like in the middle there like if we're swimming and playing around in the pool or whatever if i get a little too active it'll start to drop and so we like to keep you know, some of our safety things and we eat fruit and stuff like that to help stabilize me through those kind of events. Uh, the JDRF one walk was fantastic because they had all sorts of like chocolate milk and yogurts and sandwiches and little cracker things and lots of great stuff that helped keep blood sugar stable through the whole thing. So I'm really thankful to people like that and events like that where that kind of stuff is accounted for automatically. Um, other than that, let's see, trick-or-treating, when we went trick-or-treating, I was pretty stable through that. Now, we didn't do a lot of walking around this year because it was pretty chilly and the neighborhoods were pretty hit and miss. So we did a lot of, you know, the slow roll, let the kids out, jump back in for each house kind of thing. So we were pretty stable through that. I was able to keep on top of it. and. That's why we have Eddie to help us out when we go like the pumpkin patch. There was enough activity there that I did go low once we got there. And then the donuts made me go high. And so Eddie was constantly on the job. Uh, going shopping drops me. I know something as simple as going shopping doesn't seem like exercise. But to somebody who has type 1, almost anything can be exercise. And you have to watch things like jumping on a trampoline if you have a pump because the static from the trampoline can mess up your pump or like sliding on slides at the playground, the plastic slides, anything like that. You got to really make sure that you have some duct tape or something on it to keep it from getting static. Um, hmm. I think that's about it for exercise and diabetes today. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Um... Remember, we do have our giveaway going on, and it's only until the end of the month. Now, at the end of this month, there will be no more getting of the Fighting Flamingo t-shirts for 2019. We will have a new design out next year, and then you'll be able to get a giveaway for those. But this year, the design is done. There was a limited print. If you want one of these Fighting Flamingo t-shirts that we have, you got to get your name in. Get it going. Taylor's fund is still up. Go find his video. Comment down there. $10 to JDRF Walk Teams. And that's it. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.